Kittle now has some amazing photo editing features that are built right into Kittle, whether that's using one of our Unsplash integrated features, using one of the images that you upload yourself, or using Kittle AI to generate an image and then editing with those features. I'm gonna show you how to do all of that in this video, so let's get started. All right, so here in Kittle, I'm gonna go to the Photos tab right here, and then I'm gonna scroll down. I'm gonna select this image right here and then size it up. And over on the right, you can see the adjustments panel has come up and we can do a lot of amazing things like control the brightness of our image. We can change things like contrast. So a lot of these sliders may be familiar if you if you use things like Lightroom, but we can even change the hue, which is super, super cool. I'm super excited for this specific feature because you can essentially change the, the color of any image and blur as well. You can increase or decrease so if you can have a really super sharp image. You can also also add things like noise for a really vintagey vibe or you can uh, pixelate it for an even different kind of retro vibe but all of these right here are there for you to use you can even remove the background if you have a, a subject in the image or change the blend mode over top to create your own texture now what is also super cool is using AI and we're gonna type in something very similar so let's type in a starry sky with a uh, Milky Way, like a vibrant Milky Way. We're gonna try to get as close to this image that we've already done right here. And then let's go ahead and select an image style. So I think this one right here called Synthwave is definitely the, the vibe we want. So let's generate this. Let's give it a second to think about it. And then, wow, look at that. So it'll pop that in. And now, even though we have created this, you still have all of your adjustments over here on the right side that you can go through. So boom, we can change the hue. We can make some really, really cool effects very similar to what we did with a regular image and of course all of the same sliders are available to you with the images that you create with AI so now let's do the same thing but let's create a vibrant meadow of flowers let's select um, generate and then I'm gonna show you how you could use this with a composition so this looks pretty good I could keep going and just creating a bunch of different things um, but what I'm gonna do is use the hue slider because I want it to be a very specific color so I'm gonna take it towards the left and something around there is really nice I'm gonna speed up through going through all of this but I think this composition with this dark purple with the highlights of teal are super cool now let's select a frame so I'm gonna go to ornaments I'm gonna scroll down here I'm gonna select a frame because I'm gonna put some lettering here in the middle of this kind of maybe like a square poster or something so let's find a square frame that's gonna work I think just this basic first frame right here is awesome it's gonna fit the vintage lettering that I'm gonna use and then with the object color what I can do is I can create a different color with the eyedropper tool and I'm gonna sample that bright flower right there and then maybe just bring it up a tad in between the white and the pink right here I think that looks really really cool so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to templates and I'm gonna use an existing template over here in the posters category because I've already looked ahead of time and I'm gonna use one of Tobias's beautiful lettering templates that he's already done all of the hard work for so if we just scroll down in the motivational category uh, you'll see one right here that says believe in yourself. So what I'm going to do is click on this and then I'm going to select new project because I don't want to destroy everything we've just done. Okay, so now this is a new project right here. Believe in yourself. Boom. I'm going to go up and duplicate my window tab. Okay, so now I've duplicated it, but in this one, I'm going to go back to what I was just working on. Okay, so I'm going back to what I just did with the AIR and the frame and everything. And now all I have to do is select the parts that I want. So I want the text and I want the frame that's been built with a ton of different flourishes and things like that. So I hit Command C and then I hit Command V. And so now you can see it here in the original window. And I'm just going to size this up to where I believe that it's going to work. And even though the colors are, are weird now, they're kind of cool still. So after we have this positioned where we want to go, we can go in here and start using the eyedropper tool to find different colors from the composition that we want to use. So I'm just using this eyedropper 
developer tool. And as you can see here, I'm just going through a lot of different trial and error. I'm trying a couple of different things out. Of course, you could go crazy with this. I just wanted to see what a couple of different colors might look like. And then I'm gonna adjusting the back image that we created with AI there. And then I'm gonna change this to say bloom like flowers because I want it to fit the background image. And you could play with this for a long time, but I think this is a really cool way that you can use existing templates with AI art that you generate in Kittle. And by the way, if you haven't already joined the waitlist for Kittle AI, do that right now. The link is right there in the description and you're gonna get a hundred AI credits if you join the waitlist. And we're only offering that through March 29th. So you just have a couple of days. Go ahead and join that waitlist if you haven't already to get a hundred Kittle AI credits. Now, if you wanna see other tutorials using Kittle, I have these videos here on my right that I know you're gonna enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and features and things like that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.